Hi guys! Today we are reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. For my sister Krista, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the night of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There it is. One sa Sunday morning, on Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped out the, of the egg. Came a tiny and very hungry caliper. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Wow, how hungry is this caliphater? On t Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. <sighs> On Friday, he ate through five orange oranges, but he was still hungry. Okay. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Whoa. <laughs> that night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday, and the caliper ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's the caliper. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caliper anymore. He ha he was a big, fat caliper. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then. He nibbled a hole in the corn cocoon, in the corner of the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. I hope you liked my story, and I hope you have dreams just like me. I want you to whatever dream and some people say you can't do it you can do it believe in yourself but if you're scared you close your eyes and say you're okay 